A man standing on top of a lighthouse measures the angle of depression of a cruise ship to be 35 degrees. The horizontal distance between the man and the ship is 1,250 metres. Given that the height of the lighthouse is 110 metres, find the vertical height of the cliff above the cruise ship. So what we've got here is a cliff. We have to find the vertical height. We know the height of the lighthouse is 110. The man is standing up at the top, and therefore the angle of depression, the angle of depression is uh, the angle looking downwards from a horizontal. So this is called an angle of depression. Um, so then we got to find, what we've got to find is this vertical height here using the information given in the question. So there's a diagram. Normally, maybe you just draw a triangle. So first of all, what we're going to try and do is calculate this height here. So let H be the vertical height of both the cliff and the height of the cliff. OK, so H is all of this distance here. Of course, remembering we only need to calculate this distance. This here is called the angle of depression because you're looking downwards to a horizontal and labelling the sides of this right angled triangle then we've got to this side will be the opposite because it's opposite uh, 35 this angle here will be the adjacent and this one here is the hypotenuse we are interested in finding H we have the adjacent so using Sokotoa then we've got tan opposite adjacent is the one that we're going to use Writing down the formula, tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. And then filling in the numbers, we have that tan 35 is going to be H over 1,250. And therefore, to find H, we'd have to multiply 1,250 by tan 35 de degrees. Going to our calculator to do that, and make sure in settings that we already put our calculator into degrees, go to here, we can check that our calculator is in degrees by just looking at this sign here and then typing in 1250 times trig tan of 35 and then press enter and we get 875 so 875.25 meters we have to calculate this uh, height here, this one, so we have to take away from that 110. Therefore, the vertical height of the cliff is going to be 875.25, take away 110. So go into our calculator and just put take away, take away 110. That just takes the previous uh, answer. No, that, so the answer is represented by 875, and that gives 765.25. And therefore we get a final answer of 700, the cliff is 765 metres, correct to three similar figures.